Could you tell us more about Medicine Way's objectives? Okay. Um, well, I won't get too much into the backstory, but I've got 34 years into um, the background research for this, where I'm looking at both micro and macro um, smallest footprint aspects, a circle of around 50 meters diameter. And the aim is to feed one whole family through seven generations of thinking and planning uh, with good strategies as well for harvesting and planting in between the perennial system. And we're going to go for it, basically, so we can feed like five to 10 people in the first level of this experiment. What but is the, uh, the, the real driving thing behind medicine wise, uh, we, we got as educated as we could in advanced permaculture. And there's some good teachers out there now who are coming together and a more holistic look at how we can do this most intensively using only the observations of nature to start both repairing ecosystem damage and putting our food supply in there as well. Um, so we've shrunk that thought down to this minimum circle around Sweden's first earth started earthship, uh, the Midgård black ship. And that's meant to represent uh, the full shelter capacity and storage capacity for that same scaled experiment. Um, but unfortunately, after the first 20 years of slow digging and things, my actual family separated and um, We've had to scramble now to represent a family within the organization for this experiment. But that's not all. Over those 20 years, the point was two other scales on this site where we're at in southern Sweden. And so I was landscaping a one kilometer grow snake, which is supposed to feed in the end 20 to 25 people at a second scale of smallest footprint research. And that is hopefully going to meet the needs of our future professional team who want to expand the medicine waste concept in the world. And this will be some kind of base camp, basically, where the, the Midgård Black Ship here has all of the records, the statistics, all of the different strategies and things being tried out. And then the exciting thing is this video diary will capture it all, the real story the day to day, how will it go? Um, applying these strategies and techniques. So um, there's no short answer to what you asked. Basically, it's the point of the video series to follow, especially over years to come, um, to see how it develops. But we're not waiting around. Um, the 34 years I've put into this is designed to get a default system for humanity out there, which is adaptable by culture, bioregion, and climate without intrusion. Uh, as a safety net for land and life and all people in those regions to start repairing their, their home ecosystems, which will essentially restabilize the weather systems once we start covering up the bare earth again and getting the forests back in place. So, in the creation, this, this, sorry, in sorry? the creation of the default system, where are you at yeah. on the land? On the land, we, we've rewound it to this exciting point now. I want the trial group. I, I want a little test group of guinea pigs here uh, to call my family. And we want to live it full out and really go for it and see if we can nail all of the statistics we're looking for at the smallest scale. And it will help us adapt new models for other situations for clients and future members and bands of members. Uh, who may join Medicine Ways in the future. So you're and, fully uh, we're operational, you just need the cobays. Yes, yes, pretty much. <laughs> we've, we've made, we've re-established contact with the authorities because um, when my family separated, we were left in the middle of the final legal aspects of it uh, with an unfinished earthship and no legal grey water systems or toilets in place. So we literally, for people who want to follow this, we're right at the start of our personal journey, really because we have to make peace on the toilets and gray water first before they will allow more people on site permanently to do the work to expand the project. So uh, we're even gonna look at through these videos at the legal aspects and how to get by them. And now me and Sarah are the first certified consultants and designers for permaculture systems. So, so we found partner. them. Yes, yes. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, she's got a quick mind and she's really helped me structure this up over the last five years and it looks better than it's ever done before, ready to roll out basically as an experiment, first of all, but then it leads to a self-financing situation where we can, once we've met our off-grid own development costs, the, any money still coming in then, we can expand the system, we can invest in more properties, we can uh, reinvest money in new earthships for new bands of caretakers to set up their um, little attempts at this. 
so we have systemized it. We, we've got it legalized. We've registered it. It's registered in advance to be a business also. But uh, with the choice of model we've chosen for legal um, cooperative form, the economic framing model, we have the choice at all times to just live it for our own sakes and not be taxed for anything like a charitable NGO kind of thing, nonprofit where any money we get in, we put straight back into the land, into buildings, into seed and tools, and, and just try and aim for that ideal, sustainable level. Uh, or we're, we're actually registered at the same time to, to actually commercialize any of these regenerative ideas we have that do work, that are successful and successful locally, economically, to scale up to any level. Um, so we finally, after 20 years, found the right legal model for this attempt. And so it's a really exciting point now where you join us because this is it. This is the real thing. After 34 years of trying to get all of the small calibrations of a system in place to ready to try this out. At this stage, how does one join the adventure? Um, well, since we have the invisible structures in place, the legal aspects, the different levels of membership registered, different educations put in place for people to pass through, um, I would say this channel, this video diary is the first step. It's where you get to meet us personally on a week to week basis as we upload more videos. We're going to be totally brutally honest about what we think about the state of the world and which direction we should be going. So there's total honesty and authenticity to, to this attempt. And so that, that's what I would advise first, just start at the basic level on the Patreon channel and follow the core video series of what we want to put out there. Because we, we're going to cover anything. You know, we have over 200 regenerative careers mapped out that can root into this system, which we can advise people and help people into. We have the educations that will bring them up to a professional level in those niches uh, already aligned within the medicine waste system. Uh, we have regenerative um, pension plans and retirement village designs using earthships and food forests at the center of the, the whole thing. Um, so we've covered every aspect really of a new society model that, that would be needed to just catch people as they fall out of the old non-functional system. We're basically this safety net uh, already set up and just start by gaining the, we, well, we need to talk about trust because the last 10 years in the world, trust has been disintegrated through politics and infighting and debates and all the social media stuff. But we need to repair community at the roots for this to work. So we're gonna have to work face to face with trust issues and build that confidence in each other in our honesty, in our openness. Uh, we'll try and answer any question that comes from any patron to the Patreon site. And if people request it, we can do specific videos to try and address um, their specific questions. We're open to the whole holistic talk of uh, a new society model, a regenerative so one. And one, yeah, there is. And um, one that repairs the ecosystems as we go. Well, we keep that in mind at all times, that that's central in our work. Uh, conservation and regeneration of species and habitat. With regards, with regards to the four phases of medicine ways and the regeneration, what is your plan today? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I wake up to the privilege of that freedom every day because I'm one of the first two on site who are just like, there's no outside pressures like there is in town or... And uh, we fortunately have enough money coming in where uh, we, we can survive in this situation as we develop it. And um, so where we're at legally dictates now, because we really want this to work out for you and Jansu as the next scaling up of what we're doing here. So we've already had the environmental authorities here to the Earthship and to the whole site in general. And they've explained where we are legally. They've accepted me and Sarah can live here now legally under present conditions and standards of living uh, using our composting toilet and a very simple gray water disposal. But then we talked into the next scaling with you guys involved and possibly my daughter and granddaughter moving back on site. So they've agreed, they've already said they will authorize our design of systems for gray water and toilets. Uh, we took them outside the ship where I'm currently digging out for the front main greenhouse. Uh, 
And this is the answer to your question. Um, it's like a three week focus, just the excavation and groundworks to prepare for that. And I'm separating topsoil and small stones ready for use in the planters and sand that can be used for cement later and gradually working my way layer by layer. Um, I've been interrupted twice or three times with heavy rains. So it's kind of flooded where I've taken away the, the vegetation. Yeah. So it's not sponging it up anymore at the moment uh, while I'm digging. And then the other issue to that, the other aspect of it is I need to get the foundation wall in for the eventual greenhouse that's coming later, which is a massive one with big logs that we felled from our own forest. But, but to get us legal for you guys in time, quick, quick enough, we don't need to think about the greenhouse beyond the half tile wall. Right. Um, because that will hold back, that will hold the hills in, um, to keep it out of the planters. And then I'm going to go into the planters, three botanical cells. And we've already discussed with them that they will authorize that for washing machines, showers, and bath water um, to the scale that I'm excavating now. So in about two weeks, we have 100 tires to build that wall. And so we're going to film that as well, a bit of tire pounding. Uh, so in between now and then, I'm doing just the excavation work carefully right. and managing the new rains as they um, so today, now we're down to the answer of the question. So backing up from that today, the next phase is just to, I've got a little bit of the edges of the hill to dig out to prepare where the tire wall is going to be. And uh, I have a run spot for between one and two weeks now to pick up all the tires. And um, then we'll have about 10 days of tire pounding. And then I'm into the dig of the, the botanical cells. Right. And we're, we're basically making peace. With the uh, peace with the authorities, because we understand that future earthships are dependent on this ending well. Um, and this was the first started earthship in Sweden. And so we took the whole pioneering struggle and then it went against the law and took 11 years to win the legal battle. <laughs> and so it's, it's ready for us to really run with this. And that's the point of this channel. This is the excitement now. We're really clear to run with this. And for all it's worth, uh, for anybody who's watching. Kevin. One last yes. word to wrap it up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I thought you meant you were going to have one last word. Um, You're the one on site. <laughs> uh, well, with all the world's problems we have today and how distracted we are and all the negatives and things, there's one common core word that can get to the root of solving it all, and that's regeneration. Uh, we need to apply that in everything we're doing on the day to day now for things to get better, for things to improve. I think the problems now are all based on scarcity of the ecosystems collapsing and the food systems getting dented by uh, random climatic weather patterns that are hitting hard. And so we've never been so vulnerable um, as a species it's at that scale that it's at as well is just unbelievable. And the only hope we have now is just putting our differences aside and focusing on the issue at hand. It's about survival for all of us. And it's maybe a way we can redeem our relationships between cultures is by working together on this one. We need the holistic uh, oversight of the planet about what's going wrong. And I think regeneration is the, the key word that uh, if we remember that one in everything we do, not just permaculture with plants, but permaculture in architecture and design system and water management and relations and seed, how we, we treat our seed and uh, all of this regeneration it is desperately needed to, to bring balance back so we can have more peaceful discussions about the state of the world. Kevin, thank you very much and good luck for today. Thank you. Thank you very much also. Look forward to the next time. <laughs>